Welcome to Konitz, city of beauty and mosque. So it's time to pray. Look at the mountains in the back. Amazing. Coffee shop in the in the mosque. Tomorrow. Let's go and pray, bro. Look at the wooden spots. They just prayed. Just prayed Asr. I couldn't make it. Sorry, Dur. I couldn't make it, so I'm just gonna do it on my own. Wudu. Let's do some voodoo stuff. We're inside the mosque. Look at this beauty. It's really nice. It's really amazing. Such a big mosque for such a small town. Pretty cool. Some rivers, some mountains. Look at the water, how blue or green it is. Mountains, the mosque. This is heaven on earth. It's a beautiful city. Konyic is really nice. I've been here only five minutes. But I already prayed in this mosque, which is a giant mosque. And then this looks really cool. So I just saw a woman in niqab. So you can imagine Islam is strong here. Oh, sh so we came across Martyrs Cemetery. In this city, 490 people died defending this town from Serbs. And they are buried, 102 are buried here as martyrs by as you know, as a Muslim, this is the best way to go. So, this is the, the Martyr's Cemetery, right there. 102 people died. May Allah grant them Jannah, the highest rank. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful out here. What's up everybody, we're in Trebinje, in Republika Srpska, which is an autonomous republic in Bosnia and Herzegovina, mostly run by the Serbs. You can see the mountains in the background, but not many Muslims, of course, no halal food, so... But it's really nice here, it's kind of completely different vibe, Mediterranean kind of thing and... Uh, we're in front of the church in Republika Srpska Trebinje. Look at the flags. So it's like a Russian flag. But actually, it's not Russian. It's Republika Srpska. This is their church. This is their park, I guess, next to the church. I mean, the church is really nice. It's an Orthodox church, of course. And Orthodox Christians are slightly, let's say, heavy oh look we can have to go inside it's crazy oh a lot of pictures <laughs> look at this subhanallah look how many pictures they have we've got the cheeses the saints. It's funny when Muslims say like Orthodox Christians are closest to them, but they were the ones who genocided them, Serbians. Strange. See, they, they are doing these chants for you. 
Look at this guy. Beard. Wow. We came for the party. And they are not Muslim, by the way. Or are they? I don't think they are Muslim. Look at this. Republika Srpska. Yeah. You can see the Orthodox nuns wear cross and full hijab. Even the men have beards. Like it's by that standard, I would say it's closer to Islam because it's very similar. But of course, a lot of shirk, a lot of bad things are happening, and they hate Muslims so. similar to what we have in Slovakia Look at a beautiful park We have a church there Kids Family vibes Orthodox Christian family vibes Really nice trees, I gotta say But yeah Assalamu alaikum, we've made it to Neum, which is the only town in Bosnia that has access to the sea. It's 25 kilometers around the coast of near Croatia. So we just came from Dubrovnik, took about one hour to get here. And this is Bosnian Sea. It's very easy to get here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check out some beach. This is the only thing they have. It's kind of an issue because like Croatians have so much access to the sea and Bosnians not much not much but anyways at least they got something we don't have anything so it's really nice here now um, come here if you want and don't if you don't want check it out guys people are already swimming should we go for it the sea looks good they haven't been near the sea since the Turkey trip in Antalya, which was about six months ago. So, first time after that time that I'm seeing the sea. Guys, this is Pochiteli. The city was built in the 15th century. We're gonna go check out the mosque if we can pray. Let's go. Not many people are here. We're in Pochiteli and we're in, in front of the biggest mosque. The city was used as a madrasa and Islamic judge used to sit here in the 14th, 15th century and people from Egypt would come here to learn about Islam now it's nothing this city no one lives here but it's beautiful these are some old ruins I guess Haji Aljina Jami 1562 500 year old mosque they destroyed it Crazy. Yeah. This is the voodoo spot. Let's go. Let's try it out. So it's close, but I can pray over here, inshallah. So I just prayed, and uh, I don't actually think I prayed in a more beautiful place. Look at this the tree, the mountains. This is the old mosque. So they destroyed this one in 1993 during the war. Serbians destroyed this mosque, but they rebuilt it in 2005. This was a 500 year old mosque, dude. Check it out. It was destroyed in August 
1993, rebuilt in 2005. 500 year old mosque. Inshallah, it all prevailed. Look at it. It's a pity we can't go inside, but it's perfect to, to pray here. I mean, this is beautiful. Like, I love this. I love the Ottoman style or Bosniak, or I guess it's Ottoman style of architecture of these mosques. It's so beautiful. Uh, I've seen some other ones, but you know, Ottomans have their own unique style, and uh, I definitely vibe with, with it. A vibe. I mean, I don't think it's the most important how the mosque looks, but it's definitely like architecturally a good thing to have things even outside to pray you know if you live in a warm country it's beautiful you can do wudu outside and pray outside it's amazing uh, but it doesn't matter how many mosques you have in your country if they are empty or if people are doing shirk and bida in those mosques then it's not about the mosque you need to develop people and that's key what's missing in the ummah development of people so let's focus on that we can do that without a mosque 